Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Eiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on Expert Difficulty. We are continuing the exploration of Ludern, a region that is truly miserable. If you want to know the true meaning of suffering, uh, decay and despair, then that is the closest that you'll ever get to know it. Yeah, I think we're okay on all of uh, those materials. Anyways, today on our list, we have a couple of secrets and we need to free the man captured by Ludern, which will be interesting. This here, by the way, is the March of the Zombies that I mentioned in our last episode. Holy shit, do you not want to get engaged with all of them? Okay, so what's up She's here? Dead. This place is steeped in history. Not much remains of the war between Harag and Edoran. Most of it was destroyed or swallowed by the swamp. Isn't it incredible that a 30 year conflict between two powerful kingdoms can vanish from the land and our memories a mere 50 years later? Good, we know there is a golden key that can be used here. That's pretty much it. Unfortunate. So much more that I wanted to do here. Impaling stake. Um, impale a stake to generate influence gained by the corpse. Not sure how that is going to work. Alright, so apparently the next time we do have a corpse, we're just impaling it up here. And then it would gain us uh, some influence. Just for a good escape route, what I would want to do is put a python in here so that we could also escape onto that hill in case we're chased by zombies and that reminds me we need more of them once I have understood how to use them they actually become quite handy I must admit Good, we want to go over here. Again, very much into the middle of the swamp. The exploration part is one of my favorite parts of uh, this game. There's always something to find. It's a really nice uh, way of keeping uh, the adventure going. My only concern would be the replayability. I can only imagine if you have an active modding community, maybe they get different settings uh, going. The game itself has all of the mechanics to be a really great game. but. What uh, separates the great from the truly exceptional games is the replayability. I can come back to XCOM 2 any day of the week. It, um, it's just such a pleasant experience. Alright, Jim finally got a level up. Let's see, he has enough willpower. And he has 15 movement. <clears throat> Are we going to give him more movement? I don't think so. I think 15 is fine. Which means seeing how critical hits work. 
that would improve critical damage and critical hit. Let's try to spec our quote unquote DPS more into, into crit. <clears throat> and really what I would want to do is basically the backline and Jim I would consider to be like part of the backline should have a higher crit value. So with Jim being ready, he could now help out there. Who is not level seven yet? Namri, Miss Grell. Miss Grell needs the most experience. So leave the cooking pot alone for now. Fortunately, no one else can help but <clears throat> that increases our daily consumption by six. That's fine. Zoe just improved her relationship. Not with Miss Grell apparently, but uh, with the others. Yeah, this, by the way, is crazy. Just look at his relationships. Enders just is adored by everyone. And Dilly somehow befriended inappropriate Murphy uh, to a point where the horse um, or pony is adoring him. All right, we got an Anadorian mine here. That's going to be a tough defended uh, mine. We can come back to that in a second. I first, uh, first want to do the storyline. Finding out what happened with a girl. We found this man alone among the dismembered bodies of his companions. We have no idea how he got there, but his clothes speak for themselves. Any stranger from Alazar setting foot in Harag is to be punished by death. Hmm. Leave us mercenaries. We are preparing to hold criminal proceedings. Well, let's first of all try to open the cage. I want to speak with him. And of course, we're running out of lockpicks. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's craft a few more. Thank you. And try that again. surrounded by dismembered bodies when he was found maybe he butchered his own companions using some unknown weapon catch him before it's too late mercenaries okay well we're going to do that he's still innocent until proven guilty i mean there might there are other explanations uh, for that might was the lone survivor of an elsewise very unfortunate exploration party, you know? Doesn't always need to be the cruel cannibal. Let 
Good, before we are following the Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider rather, we're going to go into the Eldrin Mine here. Currently wanted, uh, let's get rid of the wanted status. You are wanted for a number of crimes. Thank you for your country. Yeah, no problem. You're welcome. Cool. So if we go into the mine, this might be a harder fight, but one that could yield us a bit of experience. So let's try that. 3, 6, 9, 11, 10. And they often do have reinforcements as well. Alright. Gotta bring our A game to that. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Good. So, I mean, Miss Grell is definitely going to be over here. We have a tank line over here who is just holding on for now. Very split map. We could also try to approach from here and push them forward. That might actually be the better choice. That might actually be the better choice. JP Pauly. Starts over there. The archers start from there. Ender starts from there. One archer on each side, and Miss Grell works together with. Um, with uh, Zoe, so that's fine. Good. Let's... Let's make sure that these two are orderly. That's a good, well-invested... Um, well-invested uh, skill. Afterwards... We're engaging in melee and we need to take out the hodlums because they are dealing the most damage. So if I was to go in this would be a fantastic opener to just delete two damage threats. I think we're going to start with that. Well, the poacher also will die, not immediately, but soon. Damage is doubled, which this target is not yet. But attacks from behind are always helpful. Oh, 
kills this guy. Kills this guy. And the Marauder has taken quite a bit of damage. I like that. That poacher might die. Uh, not yet, okay. But close. Okay, well. Oh, we hit the bear. Ah, oh, that's not good. But we got rid of two of them and even hit the wrong door. Okay, cool. Good, Roby moves up to here, which is good enough. Namri supports. The fight is easier than expected. But so far we haven't really received a lot of damage. Moves up here. Hits these two <coughs> for bleeding and starting to move back. Solid hit times two. Marauder is pushed back. And we're just continuing to stay here for now. Hit, kill. Moves to here, ends turn. All right, so that first flank is completely done. How, how, what kind of level are these guys? Level eight? Okay, they feel a little bit uh, on the lighter side, but maybe these brain-eating lunatics are just much harder to, uh, to defeat. Okay, we're moving up. I like the idea of going for the soft targets. This of a waste, but it'll get him down far enough to then do the finisher.
Good, and now we only have harder targets, as in many uh, high hit point targets. Very nice, good hits. Good, let's give everybody here orderly because it is such a great buff. Destabilization and attack, and we're ready for more engagement, which is happening. These guys here are perfectly positioned for a huge battle axe in, into their back. Oh yeah, that's, that's the play. There we go, everybody's bleeding. One, two, three, four. Well, that was pretty successful in my book. <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah, we can't even sprint out of here because we're too fat. Okay, Roby needs to slim down. Okay, moving up, engaging in melee combat, weakening, surrounding, hitting him, and we're good. Ender Sanders understands the good usage of a torch into the back. And continues to absolutely obliterate every single one of them and yeah that was a pretty clean fight got some loot out of it and some mining I like these bandit infested uh, dungeons. They typically give great rewards after you clear them out. And here you can, by the way, see, I haven't shown that on camera for a while, with high level miners like um, Namrius at this point, you get a lot of extras, sapphires, rubies, diamonds, um, and the higher level ores. So. It definitely makes sense to have uh, a miner. All of the professions uh, do make sense, so it's tough to single one out that you completely wouldn't want uh, want to use. But mining in particular is almost like a prerequisite for successful blacksmithing. Ornate key is good. Level 8 uh, maze. Critical hit during an attack from behind. Couple of good items there. Nothing supremely out of, uh, supremely good, but 
decent items. Um, we're a bit overloaded, but that can easily be solved because we wanted to dismantle stuff. So this, that, that, and all of that. We're definitely not dismantling the uh, unique weapons. That would be completely stupid. And we're still overloaded. Well, we needed to eat and rest. Might as well do that. We'll get rid of some of the weight. Okay, we got 72 experience for Pauli and Mrs. Grell. Pauli is getting there. Mrs. Grell is still super far away. And I mean, what you can see, I think Dilly is the one with the most experience. 3,500 experience and we're getting like 60, 70 per, per even fight, 30 per easy fight. It's, I'm up for some grinding off screen uh, just to make the absolute level minimum or alternatively we're up for a campaign where I'm playing the rest uh, through the rest in a heavily underleveled fashion without being able to use the loot so either way sucks um, you would want to see me using the high-end loot and I for one um, I'm not afraid of fighting under level. I think I have a solid grasp of the game now. But I am concerned of not being able to use items properly. These pelts are so pristine. Gosenberg traders are willing to fight plague-ridden hordes and swamp creatures to buy them. Well, that's good for your pelts. I appreciate that they are really so pristine. But all I was looking for was a guy that came through. Not so pristine. He must have looked quite messed up, to be honest. But... You haven't uh, happened to hear anything about that, have you? Apparently the answer is no. You won't find any plague remedies in this shop. Alazar refuses to give us any. Try the smugglers. Might not be able to find that, but we get Misty Oil every day, a day uh, every time a skill deals damage, 50% chance to also deal 50% of its damage to enemies next to the target. That's not bad. Um, and explosive oil every time skill deals damage, 50% chance to deal 5% of target's maximum uh, hel uh, health to its health as damage. That's actually quite good. I think we're crafting both of these bad boys. Explosive oil is that extra damage to health and miss the oil <clears throat> deals damage next to the target good so that was easy bit of medicine Still having, uh, we are still having problems finding infected brains. But we're getting uh, good materials out of that elsewise. So JP Pauly gets this new medicine, right? <clears throat> Not this new medicine, this new oil.
and Ender Ascenders. I like the critical uh, strike. That is great as well. But that is uh, jolly fine as well. <clears throat> I'm wondering if we can give it onto her bow because the bow is critting on the first shot anyways. Might as well, wait, wait, wait. Could we put two oils on it? Oh yeah, hell yeah. There are two upgrade slots on that bow. Well, then it's a no-brainer. Good. We're still looking for uh, the fugitive. Someone must have seen My him. My grandfather was a soldier in the Edoranian Legion. Might she be looking for work? No, oh. I'm looking for a fugitive, my dear. I believe you know all there is. The informant doesn't know where they are. Maybe he's in the town hall. Oh, sheesh. Alazar won't sell us that. We've been monitoring the smug. Yeah, the tombs of the ancients are no luck. I'm pretty sure they were not hiding at our trading post. What I will say though is we could prepare a little bit. So once we are level eight, uh, I've already prepared a base coat of armor. Two plate armors, uh, one medium armor. What I haven't prepared are the lighter armors and the second medium armor. There's no smith, uh, smith in here, so never mind. All right, let me try to find uh, him and I'll be back in a second. Found him. So found him, found they him, found we him, found him. Knowledge. Knowledge. You need to kind of turn that around and then you f uh, you finally get him. All right, enough escaping. Time to bring that guy back and apparently he seems to be a little bit unwell in his headspace in the meantime by the way ah oh, mercenaries looking for a plague remedy are we uh yeah we're thank you for your kind donation of that plague remedy f to us One thing that I learned about the swarms is you definitely would want to have a plan to deal with the plague. And next night we're going to launder these items. All right. Um, Anders needs to launder instead of sleep here. I, by the way, created us some uh, some further meal. And luckily, we're keeping our uh, our happiness bonus. We're just not getting any further influence, but I think. 3,000 uh, something influence is more than enough. The items are not yet laundered, which means Jim uh, will be the only one at the campfire. Uh, 
Okay, well... Uh, let's give up some Valor. Unfortunately, they are not always positive events. I like the... Uh, in a very few circumstances you can get a free aptitude. <coughs> Sorry, a few free aptitude point uh, due to these events. And that's fantastic, but most of the time it, it's just rubbish. Did you catch him? Yes, we did. Wait, Lieutenant Gottschalk is a level 8 Colossus? What does that even mean? He has a beautiful mace. Uh, I think we'll take... Wait, 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 wait. So much to unpack here. <clears throat> Why is he... Having such a great mace and a great uh, garrison armor, and we can't even strip it off of him. Well, that's unfortunate. Did you catch him? Yes, we did. Phew. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't been here at the exact moment the prisoner escaped. We will resume our little interrogation. We need to find out why Alazar sent him and his companions, and what happened to them. Take this. We're just glad we got our hands on him. We got 200 pristine fangs, which is the currency that these guys are using. We found him, no idea how we got. Unfortunately for us, That's really all there is here. Well, we effed it up by letting him lose and then uh, we saved the day conveniently. Next up, Neprun clan. And a bit of exploration. I think we can do the exploration and close the episode and we're uh, going to do Neprun clan, uh, clan the next time. So for now, Let's make sure that we're not running directly into the zombies. This march of the dead seems quite deadly. Okay, so that... Okay, well, that's a good ending too, uh, to this episode because, believe it or not, it's another fight. Apparently, this old uh, watchtower is guarded by level 9 enemies. Hideout is to fall. Uh, let's launch a final assault. Enemy reinforcements incoming. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well. Mama ain't uh, raised no simp. We are uh, going to power through that. That's going to be rather a hard fight. Specifically due to the reinforcements. So how do we play that? I think having a single front line here, fighting it front to back, might be the right play. Uh, first of all, get everybody over here. That's a, as a start, that seems like a solid plan, doesn't it? Secondly, um, I think the archers can do very well from behind here. <clears throat> There's a lot of mud. N uh, Miss Gravel could go in, spear throw, and help with that. This here is a cluster that a poly can take care of. Hmm, well that's one way. One, two, four, six, seven. 
We could also approach them from down here, but that would mean that sweet, sweet middle center where all of the DPS is located uh, will not be attacked. And we got a surprise round, by the way, so should make the best, uh, the most out of it. Start hitting them. All right. Start peppering them a little bit more and moving down to here because I want to give everybody orderly in a second. Uh, and that second is right now. Orderly is such a great buff. Absolutely adore it. Hit this guy. Continue to hit him. Almost dead. Okay, cool. Well, not quite dead, but almost. Same orderly principle here. Move up, everybody gets orderly. <laughs> Fortunately, we can't sprint further. That's as far as we get. We definitely need to increase <coughs> our mobility. Can move to here. Can sprint over here, best friend bonus. That's the kill I was looking for. Very nice. These here are now clustered up for a triplet kill. Not quite. So close. Good, move up to here. Cluster these guys up so that we can actually engage them. And continue to hit the criminal. Good, moves to here. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Can still reach him and a little bit more bloodshed. Good. Now. Moving up to here.
Let's hit both of these guys and I want to focus on the DPS or the hodlums first. Unfortunately not enough to get him completely down. I'm okay with standing here Enders can act as the first guy in the next round. Um, we're speeding up with the bear and we're just Roby's just going to charge in. Takes the first enemy and uh, claws them because that's what a bear does. Yeah, reinforcements from the back. Not so hot. I don't like that. Okay, well. Let's finish this guy. That's one down. Do we have any other damage dealer? I mean, look, this here, good setup. But I think we're just going to move back. We have enough valor. This fight is likely not going to end in one turn. So we will need that extra Valor. The Hodlum might uh, become dangerous. Two Hodlums actually, they might become dangerous. Charging through the mud. And let's walk all the way over here. Best friend bonus, solid position more Valor. These guys are pretty cut off due to the mud. There isn't much they can do. Alright, Roby on the other hand will take a lot of uh, damage. Um, yeah, what are we going to do? I think we should focus on this side here. Get them away as... or kill them as quick as possible. That's a triplet shot. Idea was great. Execution, unfortunately, no single crit uh, was scored. They are nicely clustering up now. Thanks to Miss Grell being available here. Okay, Roby just so happened to be out of melee, which is not a bad place to be because all of these guys are slow and we're just going to waste their turns. That is really unfortunate.
Okay, so... Can we... Yes, I think we can. Hit those two, yep. There we go, that's a good hit. Nice little bleed. Surround this guy. And engage him whilst he is surrounded. That's some uh, really solid damage. I like it. <clears throat> That's a hit. That's almost a kill. We could take that criminal out. Level 9. Got a nice little sword. There you go. If we move into here, that's a triplet. Not bad for a start. This guy can still act. He could make it the quadruplet, but we are taking our turns first. And he unfortunately has to act as well. So might as well go and do our dirty deed. Lots of damage. Another solid hit, bloodshed, burning. Uh, it's all we can ask for. Far enough away so that if he engages us, he only hits one and not the archers. Good, engage. And hit. Which is good. Um... Can we get him down is the question. Mm, not quite. So instead we're just going to funnel them all in. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. One, two, three, four. That we, uh, I thought we had orderly. Uh, oh, too bad.
this should uh, reset this should reset our movement yep it is uh, it did very good Okay, well, hmm, that was a good turn overall, but we did not kill as many as I hope we would. The mud on the other side here is our friend, as it keeps many of the melee opponents away. Solid kill. And let's just push these guys away. Or let's just kill them, I guess. Good. These are still going to be funneled in. These two want to come in and I want Nemri to take care of that. Moves over. Destabilizes. Continues to hit with uh, Fury. That's good. And now they are up against a very, very angry woman. Okay, Dilly G. Make sure that this guy isn't bothering us, at least not for this round. Big fat triplet hit. And we're keeping our solid position here. All three of them are bleeding. I like that. This guy is poisoned on top of it. Robbie is isolating two and tanking them, which is good. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. Most of them don't even get a turn. Move up. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Polly just regulates. Good. Problem solved. We're a bit shy on uh, on Valor. Uh oh. 
Oh, oh. Yep, we're a bit shy on Valor. And in order to get some, we need to physically engage. There you go. Uh, I'm worrying about Pauly. He's taking way too much damage. Okay, I'm worrying about Zoe. She's taking way too much damage. And he is about to act, so can't let that happen. But unfortunately, we're just not dealing enough damage here. Our torch is out at the worst worst opportune moment and as with his sense of self-preservation needs to go and that'll be one hit but she will just be dying not yet dead how much damage would we deal to him 100% kill moves up Hits this guy. Hopefully he will engage with Jim. Okay, that worked. Getting her back from dying. Hitting them twice, luckily disengaging. Jim is fine. Yeah, but they are tough. They have a lot of hit points. That guy is down, and I think we're yeah we're just hiding behind here in the hopes of retreating into a corner. Paulie has the next biggest problem, and we need to get him out of here. Kills one, produces enough valor to be okay. Can't do any of his shenanigans. He just, I guess, needs to move on. Heals Namri because she is bleeding and poison, and that's a bad combination to begin with. He has no problem with being on fire so can position himself here oh what a lucky miss all right we're down to the willpower And as you can see, we're fighting for every little bit of valor, uh, valor.
Namri moves up, goes to here, gets a Valor. And these guys now can slowly move up. There is still the one poucher down here that needs to die. Good, and that's pretty much it. We're waiting for him to engage. And there's down to four hit points. Wow, that fight is brutal. Everybody is down to low hit points. Can push this guy a bit further away. I think that would be helpful at the moment. Most of our actions are preservative. is getting absolutely hammered. Good, that's a great hit. Unfortunately, not killing him, but we at least engage them in Mortal Kombat. Jim is only one hit point. This flank here is breaking. Uh, Roby needs to come over and help. Uh, but how do we do that? Irrelevant, uh, semi-relevant, and if we leave this guy unchecked, we're going to be in a world of trouble. Can she heal? We could heal her, but we can't tank with her with one HP, that's not going to work. We can make sure that this guy, however, is being put away. Yeah, not great, but it's okay. We're protecting Zoe. by offering Dilly as a target for the Marauder. Move all the way to here. 
generate bloodshed and move to here so that we can pass on the burning. Okay, he fell for the trick, so he is safe. Who else? This guy can act, he can act, and there are low hit point targets available. I don't like that. We need a tank on this side, and the only one that is still in somewhat reasonable shape is the bear. Problem is, everybody is falling left and right. All right, bear it. <sighs> we need Valor. And we need it bad. Ah, she did not engage in combat. Mm, bad. And now she's dying. But these guys are just fighting back and forth. Okay, and he acts, uh, and then this guy acts. Paulie will go into dying. I need Valor points and I need them now. So we'll get a Valor point by just standing there. There's the dying part before going down himself. Interesting. Jim. Who's acting next? Not a problem. That is a problem. Jim moves up, heals. Dishes out some good damage. Oh boy, we're playing with fire here. That's well, potentially one of the hardest fights that I have fought so far. is another problem one bit at a time can't reach but we can from here helpful
Got back into dying, unfortunately. Could use a crit. We could really could use a crit. Bleeding and pushed back. Moves over to here. Engaging, and we finally have <clears throat> one Veiler back. Which we need for the next dying. Bear moves up. Takes pressure off of this flank. Just getting to here for now. Wow, what a massacre. The dying ones need to be healed <coughs> ASAP. Got not a problem there. Good, that's not a, he's not a problem anymore. Moving up. Standing back. Okay, Roby is still, still doing well. Ish. Good, we're healing. Marauder takes a big fat uh, hit. Lovely. Moving back. Engaging in melee again for more Valor. Moving up, getting everybody back up. <sighs> there is a slim, slim hope. Of actually surviving it. I don't want to go into melee. Good, we got deflection going. That might be enough to actually parry a blow. Thank you. 
Good hitting from here. He's bloodshed. He's not down yet, but Namri should be able to survive. Everybody else on low hit points as well. Roby relentlessly hits this guy, but then takes a lot of hit point damage himself. Misses, actually. Okay. That is interesting. It's always the same. Why is she starting to die? Oh, that guy is down. Thank God. That took a while. What a hardcore fight. What an absolute hardcore fight. And that only gave 113 XP. Wow. Well, for starters, we got Thanalt here. Someone whom we can hand over. Nemri made a level that is so reassuring and thanks to the willpower we were good. Um, I think we need to increase speed though. Without that speed buff that we do have. But we can't even repair. Mm. The tanks should be repaired. Same for Miss Grell, by the way. Wow. What an absolute massacre. So we got a couple of bodies. I only need one for our pike. And let's see what we have been fighting for. Us, please. I beg of you, in the name of the eye, open this... They were planning to set on those damn clans. Let's go back to our people at the... Thank you, mercenaries. We... Well, uh, that is a nice little reward. If it wouldn't have been such a hard fight, I would actually be pleased with that. A couple of merchandise here. Blueprint Beehive. Damage this attack from behind increased by 5%. Beehive produces honey with plants during rest. Okay, cool. Um, damage attacks from behind. What does Enders currently have? Critical damage plus 15. I think the crit damage is better. Okay, and I believe we have almost everything here. But we're in a tough spot, we are overloaded.
That's an interesting, uh, an interesting thing here. Okay, we need to upgrade some. What are we missing? Rope? Well, we can't build that, but we're missing a lot of rope. And wheat. Okay, I tell you what, we are uh, gonna go back. That two handed sword is looking quite sexy. Can't dismantle that. The morale one I've never understood what that really does. I'll hang on to it for now, but I'm suspicious that it doesn't really do anything. Good, where is... Oh yeah, carrying capacity, thank you. Because we need to get out of here and rid of all of that. Are you looking to... Oh, you're not... Ha! No matter. I won't be discouraged. Who knows? Maybe the next customer will... You may be right. How disappointing. Well, I got a... Sw <sighs> I actually needed a merchant more than anything. Swage has a chance to create an item of superior quality. Well, that is good. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Oh, you're exactly who I was looking for. We need to get rid of a lot of weight. Good. I think we're calling it here because uh, the episode has been going on for long enough. If you want to get rid of some weight, uh, try uh, to uh, hang it over to the like button. Uh, that has um, I have heard that the like button has quite a bit of carrying capacity So that might be a way to go. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Bye